Yo, it's a new week, and welcome to Wednesday on Golden State Boulevard. Yeah. Uh, the topic this week is dating, and the last time we did this topic, it was specifically dating an FTM person from the vo point of view of a gender non-conforming person. This time it was a little bit more of an open topic, and some of the other guys have talked about um, specifically dating FTM guys, long distance relationships, and so I thought... I would take advantage of the fact that I'm living with my boyfriend at the moment and sort of pump him for information on what it's like from the cis side of things to date a gender non-conforming person because I think that's something I see a lot less videos about and I think is a really worthwhile and interesting topic. So without further ado, I present my boyfriend. So this is my boyfriend, ta-da, this is Zasha, hey. and he's going to be my, my cis source of information. Yeah. Okay. okay, Zasha, so I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and you're going to be honest about the answer, okay? What was your reaction to being told that your partner, moi, was gender non-conforming and how long ago did you find out? <laughs> well, it has been one year now and it was, it was not that um, shocking as you might think it was. Um, so we were together for two years back then, like yeah. last summer, around the same time. And all of a sudden he came to the kitchen, I was making food. It's like, hey yo, you know why I act a little different from time to time? It's like, no, no tell me. Y you know, I, I have a boy side. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so um, it was like, he had to explain a bit what's going on. And then I realized, well, okay, that explains a few things about why... He's having a breakdown from time to time, or uh, or dysphoria, and, dysphoria. and um, some other stuff that were unclear back then. But now, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that that was my reaction. Yeah, he was pretty chill about it. Yeah. Um, he was annoyed with me that I waited that long to tell him because he was saying that, yeah. you know, clearly I didn't trust him, and that if I didn't trust him to tell him that, then we should have reevaluated things there. But you have to give it though that um, we were in a long distance relationship yeah. and so we were together for one year and then we had to go apart again and uh, for we for one half, for half a year and so coming up with that information would have been more pressure on our relationship potentially. Question two, did finding out about me being by gender change our relationship at all from your perspective and if so how? Well as I just said it cleared out a lot of um, unknown things, for example, the dysphoria, or um, just unusual behavior from time to time, that um, that it was explained, like, oh, that's why he's doing that, or that's yeah. why he's feeling in a certain way, and it um, brought us closer, yeah. of course, it strengthened our relationship by a lot, because we finally knew what's going on. Yeah. And um, whenever we had a conversation, we could just just go into these facts and be like, "Oh yes, you don't you don't want to be called uh, a she since you um, identify as a boy and all that stuff." So yes, yes, it did change. The third question is: Are there any physical changes um, that I might do in the future that you're apprehensive about, and why? Yes, we talked about this quite a couple of times. And he wants to do top surgery yeah. in, in any case, which was first of all, I'm as a cis guy, I'm, I'm a straight guy, a cis straight guy. I, I like the woman's body, I like boobs, but um, the thing is that he can't stand his boobs. It's like really a problem. Like I've, I've got, we got, we've gone through so much dysphoria, and I've just seen it so many times how how not in place his body is and so it's it's quite you can just take it for granted that his boobs have to go like yeah yeah it's there's no way around it you, it, you he's, he's just born in the wrong body and that's why the boobs have to go even if I have to um, give up on, on some sexuality appealing thing mm, yeah from your point of view as the one who 
is dating me, who's a gender non-conforming person, would you say that there are any challenges of dating somebody like me? Well, as mentioned a couple of times, dysphoria is, is a big problem since he's born in the wrong body and there's not much you can do about it. And whenever he's having the breakdown, it's like really sad to see that you, as the partner, can't do anything about it except being there for the person and hugging him and say like it's okay and just just um, support your partner. Mm. And I know it's hard for him and I do feel bad which is like weird because dysphoria is already making you feel bad but it makes me feel really horrid that I'm putting him through that as well but I mean I, I feel like that's fairly apparent that that is very much par for the course if you date somebody who is gender non-conforming, dysphoria is going to be a part of it and just like with any other issue that comes up in a relationship it's just important to just be there for them. Don't try to tell them how to feel better or anything like that. You just have to tell them that they'll that you will be there for them. That's what he always says, you know, it's alright, I'm here for you, like you're gonna be alright, it's gonna be okay. And last but certainly not least, do you have any advice for anybody who's currently in or is contemplating getting into a relationship with somebody who's gender nonconforming? So if I put it down on a very simple basis, a relationship is is a challenge to understand each other and to have a successful relationship with each other. No matter what kind of relationship it is, whether it's a yeah. cis relationship or... It do that doesn't yeah. matter at all. It's just that um, just fire and all these problems that arise um, are something you have to deal with. If, for example, if you would have a cis relationship, there would be another problem like, I don't know, what is it? finances <laughs> or yeah. something. It just it's just something you have to talk about a lot and to um make compromises and be tolerant overall. Mm -hmm. And um if you can't even like there's no difference between a cis relationship and the relationship we both have. We just um have to face these challenges. Yep. And I think we do pretty well. Well and that's why we're sitting here. Yeah. Three years later. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Josh, <coughs> for taking time out of your gaming schedule to discuss this with me. And I really hope that that's helpful because I've seen a lot of questions from people and uh, videos from people who are in his position who are trying to understand and help their partner out um, the best that they can. And sometimes they don't always know how. And I, I hope that that was helpful if that's a situation that you find yourself in. And until I see you guys next Wednesday, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and stay happy. Alright, peace out. Bye.